Fusion 360 is a CAD, CAM, CAE, and PCB software that truly unifies design, engineering, electronics, and manufacturing into a single software platform. You no longer need to worry about the risk of converting complex outlines into your PCB that can evolve into product launch delays and the waste of resources. I'm Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family to let you know about the most recent updates for Fusion 360 Electronics. Let us begin by showing you some of the new features. I'm certain you have experienced loading somebody's board or using someone else's library of components. Then when you push the 3D for your circuit board, you get a few parts represented by the default boxes. Or maybe you want to change the existing model without editing the library. Well, in this version of Fusion 360, you have the option to edit or to add the 3D model of your component. The replacement of the 3D model or adding the 3D model can be done directly from the schematic editor or the board layout editor. Once in the package editor, you now can map an existing 3D model or you could use the existing templates available to create the 3D model. With this new feature, you'll be able to save precious time when you need a quick 3D model of your PCB. I'd like to take this time to tell you more about some electromechanical improvements that have been done on this update. As I mentioned earlier, creating complex outlines by projecting enclosure outlines will usually include the holes that will be used to fasten your PCB to the actual enclosure. Well, those holes will be adopted by the PCB. In earlier versions, those holes would actually appear as circles. In this update, the circles from the sketch profile will be replaced by holes on the circuit board. This will provide the appropriate hole-to-hole -hole relationship for your manufacturing outputs. The foundation of all electronic design is based on the availability of components in the libraries. Our team of librarians and our manufacturer and supplier partners are continuously adding and updating parts to our list of components. But there will be times that components you need are not available. The good news is that Fusion 360 does include an elaborate library editor that makes it quite simple to make parts. In the package editor, you're able to select one of the available templates to create the footprint and the 3D model in a single step. In this update, we've added a template for the dip sockets, a component that is commonly used for parts on a design that require to be easily replaced, such as programmable devices. For now, I'm gonna remain in the library editor to tell you about our new feature. You see, when mapping a 3D model to your footprint, only the component outline as well as the pads would appear in the package editor as construction lines. Well, in this new update, you're gonna get a lot more information because now the holes as well as any outlines drawn on the milling layer will also appear on the package editor, making it so much easier for you to appropriately align the 3D models to your footprint. Our team of librarians continue to improve and expand the content available in our repository of libraries. In this update of Fusion 360, you're gonna notice a brand new library called IC Wireless RF which contains components from Semtech Microchip, which are present in LoRa modules, widely used for IoT applications. Well, LoRa modules are commonly used for applications that transmit small chunks of data with low bit rate, which makes it ideal for actuators and sensors to operate in a low power mode. And these IC parts will prove to be useful when you develop your own custom connected design. Now, I'd like to tell you more about some of the performance improvements that have been done to Fusion 360 Electronics. Well, 
In Fusion 360, users have experienced a performance drop when executing scripts and ULPs. With this update, ULPs and script performance in Fusion 360 has been drastically improved, with some scripts operating more than 60 times faster than in Eagle and with improved undo stack operation. With this staggering improvement in performance, now executing ULPs and scripts will be noticeably faster. For now, I'm going to return to the PCB editor to tell you about this new improvement. You see, while editing the properties position of a component on the PCB or on the schematic, the editor did not allow you inputting negative or solely decimal values. Well, in this update, this has been now fixed. Remember that moving assets in the PCB editor remain subject to the active violation mode. Therefore, your DRC settings will restrict the move if you have the walk around or the push and shove environment enabled. Fusion 360 provides an electronic design environment that is fully integrated with the 3D modeling. By inserting the 3D model of your circuit board into the mechanical design workspace, the mechanical engineer can now fine tune the placement or use components as reference points on the enclosure. Any changes made by the mechanical engineer will be alerted to the PCB engineer, that way he could adopt these changes. Now, in this update, we have fixed when using electronic parts as references in the design workspace. When you move assets on the PCB, they were not updating the reference points on the design workspace, and now this has been fixed. So from now on, when you're moving parts on the circuit board, you could be assured that all of the reference points using that part will be updated as well. Now that you've completed your design, let's move over to the CAM processor to let you know of a brand new feature. You're gonna notice in the CAM processor, it now includes a image processing section and it will support bitmap, JPEG, and PNG output formats. This configurable section will now help you generate your design images for documentation or for making PCB prototypes when using toner transfer methods. You no longer have to be exporting images from the PCB design workspace. The CAM processor, which is completely configurable, you could do it by layer or by layer combinations, making it much easier for you to get the image that you need on the output. I'm gonna include a link to our Active Fusion 360 electronic forum on the description. There, you can post any comments or learn more about Fusion 360 electronics from our support team or our elite team of users. I hope to see you there soon and all this and more with Fusion 360.